hi everyone and welcome back so in the last video we were doing some cleanup on our uber eats clone app what we were doing is we we have migrated uh, from larna to nx and the pnpm workspace now we have this whole repository you might have seen this i already pushed this code to the develop branch and here you can see all our applications all our packages and all our infra stuff so all our infra related applications because there is a front end app like react app so there will be infra infra repository for that there will be uber eats there is a microservice right so there will be infra uh, folder available here to deploy that application as a nest js lambda so all those things will go inside an infra and all the packages now i'm going to talk more about the packages because here we are writing a multiple services let's say the currently we have only one single microservice user service but in future like uh, in couple of more videos i'm going to add couple of more services and what we are going to duplicate there is the config module the logger module the storage module what i'm going to do now is i will put the, all those modules which are reusable like the config logger and uh, database module couple of more reusable modules inside of packages so that all my microservices are uh, cart service checkout service order service restaurant service all these services should be able to consume those packages from here i mean i don't need to duplicate it in each and every package each and every service so this is how i'm going to add a reusability and not only about the microservices let's say i'm writing a next js in the react app and there is some we can have some kind of a common packages or common library or common component that we can create inside the packages that we will see what we can reuse so now let's say what is the use of these packages so we have these three different folders right uh, which is one is simple apps another is the packages and another is infra this is whole contains the the workspace whatever you are creating inside this is a part of workspace so here let's say i'm creating applications here i'm doing infra related stuff and here i'm doing packages so in packages we are going to add small small packages let's say the config module a logger module and maybe a send grid module aws s3 module and all these modules which we want to be which we want to be used across microservices like database module for the type ORM we are going to use so all these dependencies are going to be used inside the applications once you create it and then you define the dependency because this is all in happening inside a workspace so you can create a package and then you can define the dependencies and applications can have an interdependency or these packages can be added as a dependency all that is happening because we are building all these things inside of one pnpm workspace and we are using all these nx commands to play with so you can see these all are currently the workspaces we have some workspaces are related to infra now we are going to add few more things related to the packages okay and here you can see we can get the advantage of all these commands here i did some cleanup with eslint issues which we were getting so i can just do a build all now just to show you and i added just a simple script in the root package json which is saying build all so npm run build all so what it is doing is we already have like whatever the packages and number of applications it is going to build all of them right it is building the nexus application react app and you can also use the nx command nx run many target build so it is going to run the build command in all the folders all the workspaces this is using pnpm workspace command i mean that's depends on what you want to use it's a pnpm workspace and nx i have added on top of that 
so here also you can just play with these let's say i wanted to run a particular application like this is the front end app right so i can just to simply start what it will do is it will start my create react app let's say i have dashboard admin restaurant admin i wanted to start this application this is the next js application that is also starting so ch ch check the latest code on develop it has all the latest things with the cleanup and all the dependencies so i will just cancel it for now okay now what we are going to do is we are going to build some packages and then we will add another microservices and we work on them once we have two microservices then we will start talking about okay how we can deploy these services to aws we already have a aws cdk setup we are creating these uh, infra applications here inside these packages let's say i wanted to just create a new package what if simple packages package will contains the the mechanism to build the code the packages will only be only be a nest just simple app which will expose a module so config module what i will do is this is my user service i will move out this config logger and the storage from here so that i can import them as a independent module so what you need here is let's say i'm creating config so here you need package json some dependencies to build the code and nest js dependencies so what i will do is recently i was talking about this thing i need a package json just config and source i will copy these things from my another project and i will paste it here and then i will explain what all these things are just config that is just for testing package json because what we are doing is we are going to write a simple package obviously we need to build it so that this package can be used across other services so i will just call it as a eats config module this is the workspace name this is the namespace and inside source i'm going to okay for now let's uh, focus on just one thing here this is just a config module and this is just config package json package json contains some nest js dependencies and typescript these are all dev dependencies and i'm just using uuid so this is just like a simple package json and i need ts config also let's steal the ts config why because i'm going to write typescript code and i'm going to build the package and make the package available so that others can consume so if i go so this is the config module package json eats config ts config is just a build instructions like in every project we create ts config it is going to generate a build output for the code which is written here and it is nothing but a simple config module which we have right simple module services and i mean i just copied i just moved the config module from there to here that's it it's like a not a new code which i have written just now i will just do is i will i'm at the root pnpm install so it will check okay there is a the new package added and there is a package load json so it will start adding the dependencies and it will create a node module folder for us okay you can see nestjs dependencies added now i can run i can do couple of things here you can see there is a package json so i will try to build this code and you can see the typings we are generating i mean this is how we create a simple typescript package so whatever the code we have here i am exposing through the index.ts this is the config module i am exporting config module and config service this is my package json so let me just try to build it npm run build okay because i need to run it from the root rimref command doesn't exist so what i will do is i will use nx and i already know that these are my packages 
nest config and what I can do is I can do the build from the root so it won't complain okay I don't have this dependency okay I have some code which is not needed I will just remove it so this is just like a default config we have let me fix some of the dependency I mean this is just like a simple config module which we are using in each and every project we have worked on okay this looks clean now I will just uh, do the same command again and it has successfully built this each config so now this is like a project this is like a package we have right this is the build output now this build output can be used anywhere else so we can skip using the config module uh, on a lot of places and we can just add this as a dependency config each config right so this is my package name what I will do is in the user service what do we have in the config it's like the same thing architecture auth token and all do we have all these properties here so that we can replace it looks like we have all those things what I will do is I will remove this config module from here and I will try start adding the dependency so this is my source go and go into the package JSON inside dependencies let's come here and I'm just adding this is the important part So what I did is each config I'm adding the dependency of this and now when I build because I added a dependency and this is inside a workspace so it will try to resolve it locally do I have each config and it will get it this will get added here now I will just build the user service so this is my each user I will try to build this and you can see one dependent project task is uh, here you can see one dependent project task succeeded zero from cache one failed command failed with exit code let's see what it was we will start first of all we'll build this by going inside that folder cd apps and I think it's a user service nvm use v14.5.0 okay it is complaining about this fbgs script because that is added only at the root so so this is the some problems which you see with the monorepo because I cannot try to build this from this local folder because it has some dependencies which are coming from the root of the project so I will do something like this and I'm just trying to get okay cannot find module okay so obviously because we added a config module and that config module is not coming from the local of the project local project so we need to resolve some issues let's say this is a storage we will, we will also move this outside uh, user module you can see all these will complain and that is obvious because now we have moved the config module out so how we can add this we will just start using each config each config now get the config service and config module from there config database config service we have so if you check the not modules here this uh, config also added not added here
let's first fix uh, the dependencies so what we will do is we will go to apps okay we are already inside a user service i will go to the root npm install Okay. what happened i forgot my track of the node module i mean the current version of node i will go to the terminal again because that is my default version which is 16.18.0 that is fine and then i will do is pnpm install so that should add this config dependency on the project so this is our user service check the node modules and you can see the dependencies get at, gets added this its config is coming from the packages right because now we have added its config dependency inside a user service i'm not sure about what this dependency is doing here or now i will just remove it is it being used config database okay that was uh, some dependency we will resolve it this is just like a type i need to add inside a inside the each config okay that i will add so that it will allow us to build so this is database in logger are we using it okay so i will replace it with each config okay domain module this also will go with the same way Okay, so there is a one type which needs to be added. Database module, okay, coming here. Now, if I try to build it again, from the outside, there is still one error. each user microservice we are building and it is depending on that and you can see still there are some issues okay because in user service also we have lots of dependencies so we have to resolve all of these each config auth module I mean these are many So this will happen when you have a lot of dependencies and you move that to the package but that's fine it's like one time effort we need to fix all of these so meanwhile i will fix it and then this is how we are going to to the to create packages i will make it build successful and then what we are going to do is we have other modules also which we are going to move them as a packages right so here you can see inside a user service what are, what else we can move out uh, we can move out uh, the logger module the deep database module and I, I think inside auth strategies also can be moved because same auth strategies we are going to use across all the different services because all the services requires a bearer token and we are using the JWT strategy to parse the token, decode and extract the token payload. So we'll move this auth module also outside. So what this microservice will have? Only just a simple user domain module. I mean the core logic which this service is doing. Apart from that, everything else we can move out inside the packages. I will fix all these uh, build issues and then let's connect in the, the next video and we will create more packages like config, logger, database and auth module and shared module these are considered as a packages and we can add the dependency same as we have done for config module in the packages so here we just added 
the dependency is something like this nest config 